All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kodash. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, title of this video is Wising Up Some Niggas. Okay, keyword niggas will use the name of the brother, will use you in the name of the brotherhood. Okay, now, um, coming into the truth, like, especially if you're new into this truth, you got to realize that the scriptures, okay, you, the scriptures is full of people that are, that are wicked, okay, and a lot of the people that was wicked were those who knew that they was Israelites, okay, and, um, I say this from experience because, um, here, you know, before I came came into the truth, okay, I had a lot of people around me that was, you know how the world is, uh, wicked people, okay, people that was using you and, you know, so on and so forth. So then you come into the truth and you're um, naive, okay, and um, you think that every brother is a brother, okay, you're just so happy to find the truth, okay, and you, um, you, you find brothers okay but you 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 have some brothers okay that that um are men of the lord out here okay that are pushing pushing this word okay and we always hear great millstone you know a lot of a lot of niggas in great millstone um are wicked you know that's why the um house cleaning is going on okay but Basically, when you first come into the truth, and you're so happy to find the truth, and you find um, brothers, you got to know that <laughs> your work is just beginning, <laughs> you know? Your work is just beginning, okay? So, um, I'm going to get this, Romans 9 and 6, not as though the word of, of God has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel, and we still in captivity, Okay? The Bible says two thirds of our people have to be destroyed, and a lot of those people, okay, yeah, they're women, but then a lot of these people are people that that know the truth, okay. Now let me get this scripture, Jeremiah nine and four: Take ye heed, every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother, in any brother. Now, do that mean that you go around and um, you just be a nigger yourself, okay? No, because at the end of the day, this is a brotherhood. You do know that certain brothers have different um, situations and stuff like that. Just because a brother, um, a brother may be going through something or he may need to, okay, that don't mean that you just turn your turn your back on that brother, okay. This is this is about being wise. Now it also says, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk what slanders so in your mind you may be doing something sincere okay but you have to you personally have to look at it like none of us are you know perfect okay and that you know that's just for, that that goes for me too you know everything that I say in this video is is double for me okay but um basically you just wising up, man, because, you know, like I said, the title of this video, niggas will use you in the name of the brotherhood, okay? And I'm talking about a nigga, okay? So, the, the scripture said that they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So, the Lord brought in the good as well as the bad, okay? The good fish as well as the, as the bad fish, okay? And, and we understand that. Sometimes you just got to let things play out, you know, you just got to allow that, you know, because the, the, the Lord, the Lord knows everything. You can't allow that person that, that may be using you to get you out the truth. See that nigga right there that, that, that is using you in the name of the brotherhood sooner or later, whether it's, whether it's, you know, um, sooner or later, which you got to, you got to have patience. Okay. The Lord, the Lord knows what, what's going on. Okay, he'll he'll get that that nigga up out of there, okay. But it says every other 
every brother will utterly supplant that that guy, okay, that, that's using you in the name of the brotherhood, okay, he'll even say, yeah, you know, uh, you know, uh, come give me a ride, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't give you no gas or, you know, whatever, right, and, and, and tell you, uh, hey, you know, you gotta forsake, forsake your family and all that stuff for, for your help, I some y'all saw, which that's the truth. But that guy is is you know using the scriptures for for his his gain, okay? To to try to gain an advantage, and that's not what this this truth is about. Now, let's say that guy is 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 over you, and rank, you know, you you just you just do what you 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 have to do, okay? As a man of the Lord, but don't don't just straight up, you know, break your whole back. Okay, and and be a uh, simpleton, okay, for for anybody, okay. Don't don't be simple, okay. Now the scripture says, don't rebuke re, rebuke elders, okay. You may come in, come into the camp and you know, uh, it may be a person that that been in the camp for for longer than you have, okay, because a lot of a lot of guys are are, are out of order. Okay, but like I said, sooner or later, if you if you're um diligent and you pray and you you're a man of the Lord, the Lord is going to get that situation handled. You just gotta have faith. Okay, it says, and, and you gotta be sincere towards your help by some y'all side. Okay, and not not carnal. It says, for every brother will utterly supplant. Okay, so yeah, that God, you know, he'll he'll use you, right? And he'll he'll even try to say that you're doing a good thing, right? Like sort of like training day, you know. In that movie Training Day, uh, I believe his name was Lorenzo. He was um, you know, he was he was basically <laughs> supplanting that guy. Okay, you got a lot of guys in this truth <laughs> that are like Lorenzo, man. Okay, so so he'll talk he'll he'll talk good about you, but then behind your back he's talking a lot of shit. You know, I don't know if that's a man of the Lord. You know, but the whole time that 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 you you are a man of the Lord. You know, you just gotta you know wait wait your time, man. Okay, because the scriptures talk about you know don't don't offend the little ones. Okay, and you got a lot of guys out here that are offending the little ones. Okay, Jeremiah five and uh, twenty six. It says, "For among my people are found wicked men." We know that the whole Bible is filled with wicked niggas. Okay, we know this. Okay, <laughs> it says they lay wait. It's he that sets snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Okay, and some guys they'll say, "Oh, I'm over you and rank and you know stuff like that," just to try to get 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 some type of advantage over you. Okay, rather than actually being sincere and 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 actually loving you like a real brother would, man. Okay, see a real brother, he may say. Okay, a a uh, let me get a ride, right? Which a lot of a lot of times it comes down to let's say gas money, cause that's like a problem in the world. A person don't want to give you gas money. You know that if he if he gave if you if he getting you to drive you from drive him from the east side of town all the way to the west side of town, and he only giving you five gas um, five uh, dollars for gas, you know. See, that's not what a real brother would do, you know. And even if he that's all he got. See, a real brother would, would, would make sure that he he at least looks out for you and get you uh, money to, to, to get your gas right, you know? A real brother would, 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 would get you, the, you know, and look out for you, man, okay? But, but a nigga, oh, man, you ain't got no rank to hey, suffer wrongfully, which we are supposed to suffer wrongfully, you know? That, that's, a part of, that's a part of the truth, but a, but a, a nigga... Okay, don't don't care about uh what anybody else does, man. Okay, see the the apostles. Okay, the apostles always look out for brothers, man. Okay, and this is from experience, man. Okay, this is this is from experience. Like you know, a lot of guys talk talk trash about you know apostle recall, you know, but but based off of my dealings with apostle recall, you know, he ain't, he always looked out for me, man. You know. He always looked out for me. Okay? It says, as a cage is full of birds, 
so are the their houses full of deceit. Okay? And they everything about them, man, okay, is about deceit, man. Okay? Because they not sincere for your how about some y'all side, man. They just using this truth. And they and a lot of these guys that 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 are niggas, man, they always seem to be the ones that know all the scriptures, man. So you gotta you gotta be or they're in a position of of rank, okay? In some some way, shape, form, or fashion, man, and not really checking themselves, man. It says, therefore, they are become great, right, and waxing rich, because guess what? A lot of these guys like to know how to, uh, they know how to uh, deceive other brothers and make it seem like they doing the right thing, okay, just to get an advantage, man, okay. And this is something that that brothers got to take heed to, man, okay. Matthew 10 and 16, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And it's a lot of wolves, especially those, okay, wolves and sheep clothing, man. Brothers that brothers that claiming to be brothers, especially in Great Millstone, okay. Another example, when I first came into the truth, okay, I had lost pretty much everything, man, a, a whole lot of money in the world, okay, and, and, and uh, was homeless when I first came into the truth, okay. Now, when I first linked up with the brothers here in the Baltimore camp, um, you know, I had no money on me. I had no money, period. I, like I said, I was homeless. And um, when I came up, I told uh, the brothers, hey, whatever whatever brothers need, man, like, you know, I'm a, I try my best to look out for brothers, you know. But the whole time, okay, uh, 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 the the person that used to be in the camp okay he was looking at me from off of you know the shoes that i wore and the, the, the car that i had okay and he thought that that was the type of life that i was uh you know living okay that i that i still had the money so he had the mindset of like oh yeah he got some some decent shoes and uh a uh, 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 freaking good car Okay, which the car wasn't really anything, but in his mind, he was like, yeah, I, I can use this guy. Okay, and you got guys that are, that are trying to use you and get close to you because they feel as though that they, they can gain some type of advantage from off of you. Okay, not because they're actually sincere about this truth, okay, but they want, they want an advantage. they just wicked, man. They got to fulfill the scriptures, man. Okay, it says, but beware of men. For they will deliver you up to, to the councils. <laughs> They'll bring you to the council. Oh, this guy's being a nigga. But the whole time, they being a nigga. Okay, they rebuking you and, you know, they they, they, they probably uh, kicking you out or whatever the case may be. Okay? But you at, a, you at the council and you getting rebuked and, and guess what? Just take it, man. You know? Because it's all the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah outside. If you write, the Lord is going to justify you, okay? You don't have to, you don't have to, um, you don't have to, to, to reply back, okay, to, 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 to anything, okay? Because when, when, when guys, uh, reply back or people reply back, okay, trying to justify themselves, it kind of shows that you don't, you don't, um, have faith, okay? Going back and forth, you know, arguing and stuff like that. It's not, it's not, uh, manly, okay? Now, if, the, if they say, speak for yourself, then you speak. But, but when, when people are getting on you, okay, the last thing you want to do is go back and forth with them, okay? Because it's up to your how about some outside to justify us, not for us to justify ourselves, okay? And it says, and they will scorch you in their synagogues. It's a nigga, you know, da 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 da. You know? It says, and you shall be brought before governors, could be a camp leader, a camp head, and kings for my sake, okay? For for actually being a brother, right? For a testimony against them and the Gentiles, okay? So let me get this last scripture Romans 8 and 33. Who so lay anything? To the charge of God's elect. Okay. It is Yahweh by Shemel Shah that justifies. So we don't need to justify ourselves man. Okay. We getting rebuked and stuff like that. Okay. 
on any shape, form, or fashion. The last thing we want to do is go back and forth, man. Okay? And just just let Yahweh Bashim Yahweh justify us at the end of the day. If 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 they getting on us and 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 uh let's say cause cause this it's it's a saying that a broken clock is uh right two times a day. Okay, it could be wrong every other day, but it's still um it's still right two times a day. Okay? So it's still something in it that, that can be uh taken, okay? Because it's, it's all spiritual. It is something in there that can be taken. But the last thing that we want to do is try to justify ourselves, okay? And just let your how about Simeon outside do everything, okay? That's where, you know, suffering wrongfully or whatever the case may be, okay? Let the Lord justify us, man, okay? Don't don't give up on your how about Simeon outside, man, okay? So with that, I want to say, Shalom.